Hey guys, uh, Colin Rojas here with Rojas Woodworking. Uh, today, we're gonna go over the next step in constructing a vacuum table for my uh, Bob CNC KL744 with the extension kit, which is getting all of the plumbing in place and hooked up to the vacuum pump. So, uh, right off the bat, just to give you guys a little bit of a visual, I went ahead and drew the table so this outer box here that is the four by eight table right those circles are the vacuum drain holes um so anyways let's go over and take a look at this i kind of did a little mock setup to this this is the relief valve and so basically this is a three three slip three slip and then this is neck down i believe to three quarter i wanted to add one of these one the manufacturer they definitely recommended it and the reason why uh, you don't have to but the reason why is because uh, if you get such a good seal on your vacuum and you're gonna be running it for a long period of time, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be deadheading all of the vacuum pumps, which in turn puts a lot more stress on them and you can burn them up a lot quicker. And so what you do uh, to prevent them from heating up and damaging them is, one of the relief valves you crack it open it'll reintroduce air into the system it'll cool the pumps down and it will uh, increase the longevity of your pumps so now we're going to take a look at the canister filter and this is a three inch slip necked down to i believe a two and a half and so this fitting and this fitting come with the setup. So you don't need to go out and get these two fittings. So it screws into the can or the canister there. And then this one screws in here. And then that puts us about right here in the drawing. So then we take our three inch pipe and run it all the way to here. So that goes all the way from that corner all the way up to here and this front area is where the manifold is going to be so um and then i guess one last thing i want to touch on before we start getting into the installation these are the basically just shower drains but from home depot this is what they look like they're basically just a shower drain and so for for like a bathroom and that, those will screw into there but i am not going to use these you can if you want and so as far as these go, these are going to go underneath the machine and come up and mount right to the underside. And what I'm going to do that with is one, I'm going to use silicone. Um, just get yourself a caulk gun, some silicone and put a nice bead around the edge the other thing that i did is i pre-drilled some holes i did three of them so you can see as the light goes through i pre-drilled those holes i'm going to just take some screws after i put the bead of silicone put it up underneath and screw it to the table and between the silicone and the screws it should create a nice tight seal i guess if there are any leaks after getting the system started you can kind of just continue to caulk around the edge and seal it nice and good uh, but anyways with that being said we're going to go ahead and start getting everything cut and get under the table and start getting it all put together
All right, guys. Uh, now we're under the CNC. Um, as you can see, there is the vacuum pump, and there are all of the fittings that I just walked through getting put on. So now, what we're gonna do is this is the uh, three-inch uh, line that's gonna run all the way to the front. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get her uh, primed and put some cement on her. So now that we have all of our PVC dry fitted, we know it's going to fit. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, glue everything together. Yeah. 